Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have something a little different for you. In today's video, I'm going to go over the five things you need to do to rank up or improve in Rocket League. Hopefully some of this helps. If you already know some of this, then that's great. If you know all of it, that's even better. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the tips. Tip number one, and tip number one for you guys I got for you is watch your replays. Now, the main reason like you want to watch your replays is so you can understand your game and how you should like evolve it improve and stop messing up with the little things so for you in this video i have just just a little i'm just going to show a little snippet of a replay that i have uh i'm sorry i have a lot of replays so i have to scroll a little bit but in this replay uh which is actually a video uh basically what you want to do is you want to look over your mistakes like that's maybe a positioning mistake, me not realizing or going for it sooner. And of course you can pause and you can be like, well, what's the situation? And my teammate's right there, so maybe I don't dive here, or maybe I shouldn't challenge. It doesn't matter the result of the game. Obviously, if you want to improve a lot more, you definitely look at your losses. But if you want to steadily progress, you definitely want to look at your wins, because obviously you made some mistakes if you got scored on. And most chances are you got scored on and since twos or threes is a team-based game it had to get past two players so why did that happen like this goal right here is uh how did this goal happen well okay so if i scroll back a little bit i dove in for a sidewall read so that got past me how did it get past my teammate poor 50 i bumped into him couldn't really do anything for me so maybe uh i look at this replay and go what could I have personally done different that wouldn't have allowed wouldn't have allowed us to get scored on? Now I can't control my teammate, so I'm not gonna look at what he did. I'm gonna look at what I did as the person who's playing the game. I'm gonna look at what I did. If my teammate messed up, and that's the reason it went in, okay, you move on. But the main thing is for your replays is you wanna look at every time the opponent scores, and then you wanna look at the rest of the replay. Just to see if you can see any little thing that, like, if you should have bumped this player. If you should have, uh, maybe hit it to the left instead of the right. Because a different play would have happened. Something like that. So, hopefully that, guys help, that helps for you guys. And I'll see you guys in tip number two. Alright, and tip number two for you guys I got is training. Now, training can mean anything in this training tab obviously you can i could be talking about tutorials striker goalie aerial custom or free play but for this example today is going to be free play now custom training is good for if you want to learn a certain mechanic so let's say you want to learn something besides these packs like let's say we go to browse and let's go to wall to air dribble that's if you want to learn wall to air dribble and plays off the wall but if you're trying to in my opinion i think free play is a lot better than custom training it's great if you use them in tandem if like let's say you're trying to learn something but free play is where you really get to use it uh to your advantage and you get to learn the setups all by yourself so the main thing with training and ranking up is kind of the motion of how you want to play so what i tend to do in training for like warming up or like if i want to learn something is I will A, watch a video on it if it's a mechanic, or B, if it's trying to improve my speed, like in speed in the game, not necessarily going faster, but just my speed at which I make my decisions, make my plays. Uh, I tend to go in training and just play as fast as I can. I spawn the ball in my car. It's kind of what uh, the pros do on streams and stuff. Like, I know like Justin does this a lot, obviously a lot better than I am, but... He goes and does wacky things in the uh, training and just goes around and plays as fast as he can. Just to get solid touches on the ball every single time. And he does that for quite some time. I don't know how long, but that's something. If you want to improve your speed, you definitely want to go around training and just practice getting solid touches on the ball and when you want them and as fast as you can. And it helps with your uh, improvement in your speed in your play and it also makes those awkward things a little less awkward but one other thing i want to point out before i get into the 
other part of the, the training thing is if you guys are interested at all, I know, a little, little plug here, so if you want to skip ahead, do it. But a little plug here is my Twitch where I can go more in depth on replays if you want i can even look at your replays if you join the discord also linked in the description as well as my twitch so yeah if you ever want replay reviews hit up the twitch hit up the streams i will be glad to do it for you if you don't have anyone else to do it for or have anyone that can help you with it but second part here is custom training and i don't mean this custom training i mean mean workshop maps and stuff that only pc players can get sadly because epic doesn't care about this game and psionics can't implement things because uh epic owns the game right now but you guys don't see it but on my screen i have a bunch of maps uh all thanks to uh Bacchus mod and let's go into speed jump rings 3 by dmc otherwise known as rings 3 by dmc and this is just your old, this is your classic rings map so this is what you would do if you want to learn your air rolls on your left or air roll left air roll right stuff like you to move your car like this but once you kind of learn that you kind of move on to different maps so what i'm going to do is pull up a different map and one that i've been grinding which is called eversax uh, olympics 2 by Eversax, obviously. And it's just a map with... Uh, I'll go into training here to, just to show you. Sorry about that. I'll go into training here just to show you. And it shows you... It makes you practice your flicks, your pinches. You guys can read the rest. Dribble, shooting, parkour, air dribble, defense. And the cube is just like a... If you guys ever grew up with Wipeout, that's pretty much what it is. But... Uh... It just makes you practice them over and over again and once you practice enough of the map uh it gets pretty easy and the olympic mode is just like the the time trial kind of like do this amount and you'll get the points training is just doing the map so you can practice your flicks as i've said before and it all totals up on the left side of my screen here it all totals to a certain number my personal best is 50.2 or something like that i'll hopefully uh, pop it up on the screen but yeah that's pretty much what i recommend for training if you don't have access to uh uh workshop maps then i highly suggest uh especially for if you want to train your air air rolls is just go around the map go around the fields in unlimited boost and just try to fly through them of course while holding your uh your air roll but that's tip number two training. I'll see you guys in tip number three. All right, tip number three. And tip number three is kind of a slept on tip, but play ranked. That's my tip for you is play ranked. Now this season, I'm kind of slouching on games played, but you know, I'm still I'm still getting up there. But the main thing for this tip, tip, <laughs> oh, I said tip, tip is to play the game more. The more games you have, the better you'll become. And the more you play ranked, the more players of your skill level you will play and soon enough you will zip past them or you will just slowly improve so tip number three is as simple as it is is play ranked i don't want to hear no oh but i warm up in casual warm up in training warm up in casual whatever it is then play ranked your casual should be and training should be about half or a fourth of what you play for competitive or ranked if you're a serious grinder or the other way around if you want to practice things more you don't hop into competitive you don't play in casual you play training that's fine as well but the main thing here is to just get hours in get time in play ranked play people similar or maybe even a little bit better than you because there are those smurfs hanging around who knows you might have been a smurf but the idea is to play ranked as much as possible so that you can either grind up the leaderboard or you can just improve as a player because the more obviously wins you have the higher you'll rank you'll go up so who doesn't like a higher rank right but that's tip number three for you guys here's tip number four now tip number four is a bit more common and you guys have probably heard a lot recently and this goes out to all you hard stuck champs 
play ones. Now you may see I'm champ three in ones. I've been slipping a lot in ones and I haven't played that much recently because it's been Thanksgiving week and I've been really busy. But as soon as this week is over, you know I'm going to be grinding those ones and those twos, obviously, because I need to get that up. But the main thing is play ones and you can combine two tips here. You can play or actually three tips, actually. You can combine playing ones, which is tip number four, playing ranked, which is tip number three, and watching back your replays, which is tip number one. So just like that, you've improved, in my mind, you can improve so much. Because when you play ones, it's just you, the ball, and the opponent, which means it calls for outplays, bumps, even, uh, and just trying to learn the game more. And it also gets you, it can get you more mechanical. There's a lot of mechanical ones players that have come out of the, the one scene recently. And, uh, it's just really, it's a really good game mode for improvement. That's why you'll see me around the champ three, GC one, almost GC two area that one time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, tip number four is play ones. Hopefully I'll see you guys in, in the ones playlist was one of these days. All right, tip number five, the final tip for today's video is watching pro replays. Now you can double down on a few tips here actually. And for tip one, which is watch your own replays and tip five, which is watch pro replays or pro play is you can exclusively on PC yet again, I'm sorry for all you console players, uh, is you can go and download replay files on ballchasing.com. Yes, that's a real site. It houses all the replays. You could download my replays if you wanted to for some odd reason. But the main thing I wanna show you guys is this replay called Zen, which is just a replay I have from ballchasing.com, which is a Zen and Vatira uh, replay. And now what I suggest you do for uh, especially pro replays is not watch this fancy this fancy play. I've watched this replay before. Sin takes it to the sky like he always does. But watch instead of maybe how he goes up for it. That might be a great idea for people to watch. How does he get the consistent hard touches or the touches that he need? How does he get the first touch that he wants? That sets up the rest of the play. Maybe you watch that. But then you should watch the recovery. How does he recover and how does he stay so fast? How does he move around the field so fast so often, even though he doesn't use boost? What is going... Essentially, what... Put yourself in their shoes and think of what would you would do? What they do differently than what you do? What makes them so good at the game? And Zen might not be the best uh, person to watch for this because he's just that much better than everyone else even at the pro level even though we kind of lost a little bit in the salt mine but watch kind of like how he recovers how he does things how does he stay so fast why does he make this decision what decision would i have made essentially what makes him that much better of a player than what makes compared to me or someone else you don't just want to watch the flashy plays because we could watch the flashy plays all day and learn nothing. What makes them just so good at what they do? The fundamentals of the game, the recoveries, the I want to put first touches in uh, like that. That play right there, that's a great play to make. Flip reset over one, follows it up, almost gets the dunk. But then how does he recover? He's already back to the boost and he's already positioning himself for the next play. How does he continue to do that at such a high level? That's essentially what you should look at and how to implement it into your own gameplay. Like I've been trying to play faster as hopefully I showed in tip number two, but uh, yeah, uh, essentially download uh, replays from ball chasing. I'll have that also linked in the description and hopefully I can help some of you guys out because that's all I got for you. That's how I think uh, you can rank up in this game. It's going to take a long time. It, a lot of pros these days have over 10k hours. So if you have like 2k and you're sitting at GC1, don't feel bad for yourself that you're not as good as these guys. Because uh, it makes sense while they're, why they are the best at what they do. So I hope you guys did learn something. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I do hope you guys... 
best in your Rocket League journey. And if you guys have any tips, I stream pretty much every day. Uh, definitely check the Discord's, uh, Discord server linked in the description. If I have anything up, I let you guys know. Other than that, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in action. Peace.